Creating a telekinesis effect inside of Blender, like this, is actually pretty easy. Hello there. For the majority of these shots, I just did the most basic animation possible and then used a bunch of noise modifiers to add extra movement and make the animation look less stiff. So here we are in Blender with my scene all set up. I have my CG chair model loaded in and it is ready to float. To move it around, hit G. To rotate, hit R. And to add a keyframe, hit I. All the Y lights to just turn on auto keyframing. I just started by animating it up in time with my hand motion and then gave it some slight rotation. And that's literally all the hand animation I did for this shot, and it looks disgusting. Switch over to the animation tab, change from the dope sheet to the graph editor. Come over to this panel, if it's not there, then give up. No, hit N, click modifiers. Now select which axis you wish to add extra movement to and add a noise modifier. Mess around with the scale and strength to get something you like. I usually give it a high scale, but a low strength. Do this for the other location and rotation keyframes. Giving your objects extra movement through noise modifiers helps the animation look more advanced, less stiff, and gives it a floaty feeling. But oh no, our chair is floating around before the animation even begins. Scroll down in the modifier tab and enable restrict frame range. Then just select the start and end frame of your animation and let it blend in. Mmm, floating chair. For the gun shot, the process was basically the same. I just put extra effort into the animation since I needed the gun to properly follow the movements of my hand. I use noise modifiers in literally every animation. Life is meaningless without them. When animating a telekinesis shot like this, there really is no right way of doing it. It really just comes down to trial and error and messing around to see what looks cool and realistic. Just never neglect noise modifiers, they will save you so much time and pain. So for this shot here, I didn't actually use any noise modifiers, so I, I lied before, I'm sorry. Wait, what are you doing? So what I did was get an animation off of Mixamo, but he only stumbles backwards a little bit, so I parented his armature to an empty and animated that position to move further backwards. Now it looks like he's being pushed with the force. So you can see that just by recycling the same animation techniques, you can achieve lots of unique effects. So that's how I create telekinesis effects. In the next video, I will show you how I force pull a ship out of the sky. And I just completely made that up on the spot just now. I don't know if I can even do the effect, so.